working. Yay! Technology. Yay! Yay! Hey, cheers! Cheers. Margo, what are you drinking? <laughs> I'm drinking Gatorade because I'm sick. Uh, <laughs> or getting over a cold. And I got a Mondo, like, just strong black tea. Mm. So I have the energy for the art party. The Lady Grey tea. The Lady Grey. I, lady was, being, gray. I was being Sarah Cross all day today. Oh, Lady Grey. Sarah lady Crossin. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome Hello. to Arc Party. It's the best time it of the time. year. Mm -mm. It's like the Arc Gods knew because the boxes showed up today. Yeah, they did. I know, right? And Margot showed up at my desk and was like, Arc every, Party is on. Every day I'm checking. I'm like, where are the Arcs? Where are the Arcs? Where are the Arcs? We ordered them a while ago. Where are the Arcs? Where are the Arcs? And they haven't shown up. And then today, boom, mm -hmm. Arc Party. Mm -hmm. So... We had to um, rush to get here, and that's why we started a little bit late, because we were, um, we're filming having a, fun times. We were having fun times with Barbies, which you will learn about later. You will see later. But let's just say um, it was a Barbie afternoon. Yeah. We also... We have a <laughs> naked Ken doll who's in painted on tights. So, so yeah. That's how we were having... Today, today is like one of those days that's ridiculous... And um, I can't believe my job is a job. I know, right? <laughs> we played with Barbies this We played morning. with Barbies, and now we're playing with, with ARCs with you guys. Yay! So we're going to check in with Twitter. So if you are joining us for the first time, basically all you have to do is tweet along and obsess over books and use the hashtag ARCparty, which we have written on our hats. On our hats. Which, there you go. ARCparty. Arc you can't really see the ARC, but... Um, ARCs are advanced reader copy of books that we get for stuff that's coming out soon. And so all of these, we did um, an ARC party back in January for the spring. So mm -hmm. now this is for the fall. So these are all upcoming releases from Harper Teen. My to be red pile is going to get huge. <laughs> so is yours. Too. You might just want to have epic reads or good reads open and just you can start automatically adding these to your shelves um, because you will want them all. But if this is your first time, welcome. welcome. We are here every 3.45 on Wednesday, drinking tea, chatting about YA books. This just happens to be an extra special time it where we get super book shimmy. <laughs> super book shimmy. <laughs> and Twitter waves. We do the Twitter waves. And we cover, we like stroke a lot of covers. And we yeah, just get a lot of cover stroking. So, but let's talk about just Reg's business. Okay, we'll catch up. There are a lot of new releases this week. Yes. Um, one of them I just started reading. Period 8 by Chris Crutcher. What's up? Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. It is a, I've been saying all along I'm going contemporary standalone in my mm. next read, and I did it. And this is like a noir kind of mystery. Oh, really? It's no yes. Oh. It's noir-ish. Noir-ish. He's very like, noir light. Yes. Okay. He's very, um, I mean, Chris Crutcher's known for his very blunt language. Mm -hmm. um, and that's all in there, and there's a... He likes to curse. Yes, so there's a period eight that uh, high school kids can come and talk about whatever. There's like no, no kind of no rules. Just yeah. say what you want. Be honest. Um, and then uh, somebody in the school goes missing, and everyone's kind of seems to be interweaved. It's really weird. Oh, no, I like that. I like it a lot. It's a it's it's a good change of my normal dystopian sci-fi pace. Um, what are you reading? I'm reading. I waited until it came out in paperback. Oh, but I'm reading the selection. Finally. Finally, I know everybody's been telling me Max to read it, it forever. Um, but I wanted to wait until it was closer to the elite, and I wanted to wait till it was in paperback. That way, I can sort of do them back to back. So I just started this. Over See the now weekend. because I'm the person that read the arc of the elite, and now I'm like, God, oh, where's the third book? I know, right? <laughs> um. Everybody's been talking to me about this book. I don't want to spill your water. You so guys, move that. Are, are you team what are you, Maxim? Team, team Aspen? Aspen or Aspen? I haven't even gotten to Maxim yet, but oh. I'm already team Maxim. <laughs> I'm team Maxim. Aspen is just, he broke America's heart in like the first 20 pages and it makes me don't like him. All right. Oh, I missed that time. Um, and what else? We got 
a paperback of Smart Girls Get What They Want are out in this New awesome cover. cover. Isn't it cute? I love this cover. And this, um, she's I want a, that skirt. She has another book coming out, How Zoe Made Her Dreams Come True, Mostly Come True, and yeah. sort of similar cover. And yeah, I, I they're love beautiful. them together. They're so cute. Mm. Okay, now my, my Twitter feed is finally caught up. Oh my goodness, so many <laughs> ARC people. <laughs> the sequel to Slide. By Jill Hathaway came out in Poster. Mm hmm. It's a, a mystery seer, paranormal ish thing. She can like slide into body, bo like people of dead bodies, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Wasteland is out, and this is the post apocalyptic dystopian where they like the teenagers that grow up, but then they get married and like have a kid, and then they are like dead by 19. Yes. Um, I'm excited to read this one. Mm -hmm. And then the paperback of Invisible Sun um, which by is David McGinnis Gill. This is that series where, oh, we don't have the hardcover. Yeah. The new, the third and final book in that trilogy just came out this week also. And it's all um, takes place on Mars. And apparently if you're a fan of Firefly, the show Firefly, this is it. Captain Reynolds, anyone? Um, you will enjoy this series. Um, and the ebook of the first book is it's free. free. Black Hole Sun. So if you haven't started this series but you're interested and you have a Kindle or a Nook, you can download it for free this week. Awesome. Yay. Okay. All right. Are you so what are you guys in? reading? Uh, tweet at us. My, I feel like sometimes I don't even want to, my phone know. is just so sad. Okay. Well, my, my phone's all caught up. So okay. we can, we can double, we can look. Mm. <laughs> Hi, internet. Hello, internet. Um, Jenna at MTG Reviews says, period 8 has a shiny cover. It does have a shiny cover. Yeah, and it's, um, letters. Is that embossed? Do you want to tell them about your, um, your little bookmark, Pom Pom? Oh, yeah, Jody Meadows made this for me. Ha! Huh? It's really cute. It's a yarn ball. I don't know how you make it, because I'm not crafty, but... If you're crafty, that's a good bookmark. And cats love it, too, I assume. Um, I love it, because <laughs> it's easy to, like, when I'm taking the book out, I just wrap the string around my finger so I never lose it. Because I'm a big bookmark loser. Mm. Oh, do you, like, have a collection of bookmarks? Or do you just use, like, when you have one and then you use it for all of your books? I have one and I use it for all of my books. What about you guys? Do you guys have, like, your one bookmark that you use for everything? I'm very bad at keeping bookmarks, and this is, like, the longest one that has ever lasted. So thank you, Jody Meadows. I love it. Um, it stays with me. It stayed with me for six books now. That's, like, that's probably a record of a bookmark in my life. That is pretty good. Vivian says, I still need to read the selection. Gotta get on it soon. Yeah. Um, actually, if you want to hold off another few weeks, we're going to be having an entire week dedicated to the selection called the Elite Week. And we're doing a reread party. Reread. Because I'm getting back into it. Get giveaways. We're going to be dressing up. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah. Stay tuned. If you want to hold off on the selection, we will let you do that. Um. <laughs> Let's see, somebody's reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower, finally. Yeah. Um, Jamie Case says the selection has a gorgeous cover. It does yes. have a gorgeous cover. That's why I we're going to do a dress love. Oh, I love this cover. It's so pretty. And I'm not normally like a girl in the dress cover person, but that one I love. Well, it fits with the story. Yeah. Um, everybody's talking about the selection so much selection oh we got a team max in over here uh mary at barry mary 94 hey barry mary um, um lots of when you read maxins. the elite your team max is just gonna grow <laughs> that's all i'm saying no don't tell me no okay. <laughs> um vivian also loves the cover of smart girls i know it's mm -hmm. so cute um alana who actually works at Harbor, she's upstairs. She just tweeted Hi, in, Alana. the art party makes me want popcorn. It's downstairs, Alana. We highly suggest, I think popcorn is the perfect, is one of the most perfect reading snacks. Yeah. It's crunchy and it's salty. And if you do kettle corn, it's a little bit sweet. And you don't even really have to pay attention. You can just like put some in your hand and then just like turn the page. No looking. No look popcorn. <laughs> Although your fingers do get a little bit greasy. Yeah, I picked up the period eight and now I have butter grease a little bit on it and I got real sad. <laughs> I had a mini freak out. Do you guys have a favorite snack when you read? Like what's the best snack? Sandwiches I think are good. Like little little sandwiches. No. I don't eat and read that often. I do. <laughs> I I eat all the time, so <laughs> I'll eat it on any occasion. Okay. So um. <laughs> all right. 
So, do you guys want us to get the art party started? Yeah, should or? we get the art party started first? Oh, sure. We have some cookies. We brought some. Do you want cookies? I just ate mine. Can you say one? We have a little cookies. That in my mouth. It's our little tea party cookies. So here's um, the deal. Yeah. We have six numbered boxes. They all contain arts. Um, and you guys tell us which ones you want us to open. We open them. We book shimmy about the books in them together. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at the end, one of you winners gets one of all of them. Hey! And we're going to have a five runner-ups. And because it's still End Is Here, um, for our End Is Here promotion, we're still talking about the Touch series by Leah Clifford. Five of you will win hardcovers of a Touch Menacing, the final book in the series. BA Angels. So if you're already tweeting, you're already automatically enter to win these books or be the big grand prize winner who gets one of everything they see. Yeah. So let's find out what's in them. Let's All right. start. Let's get started. Tweet at us a number one through six. What box should we open first? <laughs> um, I got really amped. My energy was a little low when we came in here. I know, but now I'm really excited. I'm like, oh yeah, here's the thing. We don't know what's in the boxes. They just show up. Somebody else orders them for us. So. Yes. So we're finding out along with you, um, but let's see. So who's going to be the first to tweet us the box? Tweet us the boxes. Oh my gosh, so many tweets. It's starting. It's still trying to catch up here. Here we go. Hi, um, Twitter. Oh, everybody's still talking about the selection. Popcorn is somebody's favorite snack. It's Michelle Morris's favorite snack. Kira Cass, uh, Kira Cass is tweeting along, you guys. You can tweet her at Kira Cass. Um, she says shenanigans. Shenanigans. Smooches. Shenanigans. Smo you, she sent us smooches over the weekend. <laughs> smooches. Snarkles loves Kiera. Yeah. I'm excited oh. for dresses in Elite Week. I know, me too. Um, Kelsey at Twindle McNugget, also great Twitter <laughs> hack. Yeah. Says, box number three. Box number three. Box Excuse number three. Barbie. Oh, oh my right. God, I'm so excited for all the books. Ooh. Ken. I'm going to do a Barbie shimmy books. Okay, let me move the popcorn. Again, we didn't bring really anything that we could use up. Um, okay, you know, I can do it. I can do it. All right. <laughs> Your Ken is going to be like, Rah! Can we use Ken's sharp, pointy fingers to move oh, yeah. it? <gasps> Success! Okay, got it. Oh, I see something shiny. Very, <laughs> very shiny. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, so shiny. May I? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're polite here. Boom! Arc light. Okay, you guys, you need to see this. I've never seen an arc um, this shiny before. I don't. Have you ever seen an arc this like this shiny? No. That's like legit paperback quality. It is. It's, it's all got the beveled. Raised. It's raised up. Can you guys? Ooh. Can you guys see that? By Josen L. McQueen, Arclight. It comes out, um, it looks like May, but I, I sort of feel like April, but it says May on the back, but we will, uh, we will post a list of all these books that we open up on our blog after this, so, uh, we'll have all the information and links and there. And this is Zombies, right? Mm, okay, I read it. I did read it, but I haven't read the, this version of it, which is why I'm really excited, like, the actual, I just got the manuscript of it, yeah. so I'm really excited to hold it. <laughs> Books, bookstroke moment. Book um, it's okay. It's really hard to explain because there is like these. They're not zombies, but there's these creatures that come out at night. So basically, Arclight is this city that is encased. It's not domes, but it's bet. It's encased in light to keep these creatures out. Ooh. And it's like it's really. It's got a sci-fi edge to it. It's very much a thriller. Um, very much a mystery. It's good. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about this oh, edition. Oh, yeah. Uh, Vortex. Which we talked about the first book, Insignia, last yeah. week. So I'm really excited about this because Insignia is my next to be read. Mm, it's on the did, top of the did. pile. So now I can just, like, binge it. I know. Vortex. This is a sci-fi. Um, gamer kids are starting to be used as weapons mm -hmm. as part of the government. Mm -hmm. Um, but everything that we are hearing, people, it is... People are loving it. They I think mean, it's funny, whip smart. They haven't loved characters like since Harry Potter. They're they're making a similar like comparison. Comparison, which I for some reason I wouldn't 
normally normally get go that. to, but I love it. I'm excited. I'm excited about to read that one. Um, yes. I know a lot of you are going to be excited about this one. The Chaos of Stars by Kirsten White. Oh, mm-hmm. look how cool this cover is. I love that cover. Um, this one is, is, this is Kirsten's, I'm pretty sure it's a standalone. Yeah. Um, but it's a, <laughs> okay, it is, let me see if I can try to form the words to describe this book. I haven't read it yet, but it's, a, it's, um, she is the human daughter of Egyptian gods, and it's a set in modern day. Yeah. But it's more so about, like, family and dealing with family and like coping with <laughs> very different family because clearly she's a different family because she's the daughter of Egyptian gods. Yes. <laughs> so I'm pretty pumped about this for mostly because Kirsten White tackling Egyptian mythology. Yeah. Um, awesome. So pumped for this. Are you guys excited? Oh no, we're four minutes behind on our Twitter feed now. It's okay. We have to make sure that we are always, <laughs> we have lots of people tweeting. Okay. Um, all right, so let's recap what was in that box. Okay, so we have The Chaos yeah, of stars. stars. This one comes out, ooh, you guys gotta wait a while for this one. This one doesn't come out until September 9th. Ooh. Vortex by S.J. Kincaid, which comes out July 7th, or July, July 2nd. 2nd. Okay, and then Arc Light, which we have yet to determine the exact date, but it's sooner, so either May or April. Um, so yay! What do you guys think about the first box? Book Little book shimmy. shimmy. Book shimmy. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, because I've... Oh, mm, I just want to read them all. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm most excited about Vortex because I'm so excited to read get Insignia, Insignia and, and get do them back, back to back. back. Yeah, yes. see that's what I'm doing with the selection in the end. Yes. I like waiting for... I like I like binging my books. I, I, I'm not a very good... I'm not very patient. I don't like having to wait years in between new stuff. So let's see. Um, Jen at Book and Latte says, love the shiny embossed cover of Arclight. Hey! Katie says, I love shiny covers. It makes me so much more likely to read a book. What about you? Are you more likely to read a book if it has a shiny cover? I am. Oh, well, totes me too. (laughs) I'm like, shiny things. Um, ooh, a lot of people want Vortex. And Insignia. Yes. You guys, Insignia is out already, so... And it, and it should be out in paperback soon, too. Yeah. Because it came out around, you know, this time. Yeah, the summer of Let's last year. Let's do a read together. <laughs> we should. Should we do a reread of Insignia and you guys can all join? Uh-huh. Um, the Bumble Girl says, Insignia was really good. It really surprised me. I didn't expect it to go the way it did. Looking forward to Vortex. I know. That, I mean, I think that's what a lot of people are saying, that it, it surprises them. Um... Which is awesome because I love it. People when are saying that. that it's super funny, but I like I just wouldn't have gotten that from the cover. Mm-mm. So I'm excited that people are telling me to read it, and I'm picking it up now. Um, YA Reed says, "I want the chaos of stars." Me too. I'm really. Uh, Nushrika says, "Book shimmy for standalones." Ugh. We'll do a little book shimmy for standalones. We love standalones. I love standalones. I'm really excited that because I'm reading one right now, and I forget that it's like. Mm-hmm. It finishes, and it feels so satisfying. Sometimes. I know, it's like a complete story yeah. in one sitting. Yeah. Um, Hannah at Inky Reed says, Holy crap, the Chaos cover is more beautiful on books. Grabby hands. We need, like, a symbol for grabby hands. Yeah. Something. Maybe we had, like, an actual hand. Some, like, big <laughs> like, hand. Cl- like those oh, back scratcher claws. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get one of those. Um, Bookish Things and More says, Love Kirsten White's Paranormalcy series and can't wait for this one. Yeah, so if you guys like Paranormalcy or Mind Games. Yeah. Kirsten White is known for her super witty, funny, sharp kind of female characters, and I'm excited to meet another one. Yeah, she's got very, very witty dialogue. Yes, I love it. It's very lighthearted. Um, all right, so Holly Letson requested box number four be opened next. Oh, thank you. That one's an easy to get to. Popcorn break. Popcorn break. Box number four. Oh. Art party. All right. Pop for move. Where's Kendall? It's manly work he's doing. <laughs> Flex those muscles, Ken. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! I saw her tweet. Oh, mm. Okay. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. I saw somebody tweet and say, please have them be in the book, and I wanted to whisper and be like, yes, I hope it's there too. She, Diana just tweeted these, a photo of this yesterday, and I was so jealous because I was like, I want it. And I want these. Oh, I want these. Across a star swept sea, star. Oh my gosh, that is a hard one to say. Across a star swept sea by Diana Peter Brand is the companion novel, not necessarily a sequel, but companion to For Darkness Shows the Stars. Um, and this one is inspired by the Scarlet Pimpernel, whereas For Darkness Shows the Stars was inspired by Jane Austen. Yes. So, what's up? So pumped for this one. What um, else we have? We've got some horror in here that I'm really excited about. Yes. New Gretchen McNeil. 359. Mm-hmm. Um, and it comes out September 17th. So you have to wait a little bit. But Gretchen McNeil is the author of 10 and Possesses. Uh, and she's kind of got that horror on lock. She does and, have them. And I think good that the horror. Yeah, a deliciously eerie story about the lives you wish we had and how they just might kill you. So I think this has like a paranormal... Uh, parallel live zombie kind of thing going on with it. That's what I've heard. And that those words make me excited. <laughs> yeah, those words, all those words make me excited. But mostly Gretchen McNeil makes me excited because yeah. I like her stuff. I also like this cover. I like the cover too. I like the title, 359. It's like so ominous. You're like, what? I don't even, I can't wrap my head around that at all. Yeah, I think that it's the, t- that's the place where the parallel, the time at 359, mm-hmm. the two parallel worlds come together just for that minute. Why 359? I don't know. Gretchen McNeil. Why, why not like 1159, you know, right like right before the the, tr- the day's turn. It's 3:59 a.m. Oh, a.m. Yeah. Weird. That's mm. an odd time because that's when like most people are asleep. At least I that's know. When I don't sleep. Um, I'm excited. I just like even the, this girl staring at the edge of the binding creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> excited. All right. Um, and I like these covers. Yes. Um, Sweet Legacy by Tara Lynn Childs. It is the tr- the final book in the uh, trilogy that has Sweet Venom and Sweet Shadows, the sort of yeah. the Medusa Girls yes. trilogy. Um, three teenage heirs of Medusa must seek the truth, answer the ancient riddles, and claim their immortal legacy. I think Tara Lynn Childs is just a fun writer. Everything she writes is just... It's so light, and it's so, like, I don't know. It makes me feel good when I read <laughs> Tara Lynn Child's books. How do you, have you guys, have, have any of you read her Medusa Girls series? Tweet at us. Um, when does that book come out? That comes out September 3rd. Gotta wait a while. So we have three books in this um, box as well. Across the Star, so I see one more look at that because it's so pretty. Uh, 3.59 by Gretchen McNeil. When's that go on sale? It goes on September 17th. And Across the Star Sweat Sea goes on sale ooh, October 15th. Ooh, oh, so ouch. far away. <laughs> it's like seven months away. Ooh, sadness. I love the font. Um, I know. I just like... I wonder like what's going <gasps> I want to know what's in it. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, whenever books come that I haven't read yet, I just get really whiny about it. I'm like, why haven't I read it yet? I also stop being able to process, like, speaking because I just am thinking like, about the contents <laughs> of yeah, the book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, let's let's see what everybody Twitters. The cover, Hannah says the cover for 359 isn't that cray cray, but it's awesome. It isn't that cray cray. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. And Which I, I like. Who's asleep? So Jacqueline wants to know who sleeps at 3.59 a.m. <laughs> we do. We're Me. totally asleep. I don't think I've ever even been up until 4 a.m. I've always been that person that, like, my friends might, be, my friends make fun of me because I'm always the first person to go to sleep. I look forward to going to a sleep. Mm-hmm. Friday um, nights, I'm like, yes, I get to go to sleep and sleep in. Um, Nicole says, I actually love some horror books, starting to get more into them. You should look up Gretchen McNeil. Kristen at Millie D's words said, Sweet Legacy, I'm so pumped for this one and see how it will end. Love the sisters. Yay! Tara Lynn Childs. Um, Angela at Reading Angel says, Love, love, love the Medusa girls. Can't wait for Legacy. Yay! So many people um, 
Diana says, look at all of those arcs. So pretty. We have so many arcs. And we've only opened oh, two boxes. boxes. <laughs> all right. I'm excited. What other box should we open up? What, what should we open up next, guys? Um, just, Bookish Things and More says, can barely contain the excitement. Oh, we feel the same way. This is when I get excited. I just do shaky hands. It's like, ah, jazz hands. I don't know what to say or do. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one when you're just kind of like, oh. Yeah. Yes. Excited. Yes. Just general <laughs> excitement. Um, somebody said, Michelle Morris says, Arc Party Box number six. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. We'll wait more popcorn. And play with snarkles. There's nothing on this edge. <laughs> I'm gonna get Ken's assistance. Ken? <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! I, see I one. feel so weak, I can't open this box. I see one that I'm so excited. Oh! oh. Um, That's what you've been dying to mm. read that. Reboot. Reboot. <laughs> um, by Amy Tintera. This uh, is one I am super excited about. So basically the premise, mm -hmm. you die, I then you are die. rebooted. All right. Okay. Does that mean I come back? Yeah. So you come back to life, okay. but the, uh, apparently the longer that you've been dead, mm -hmm. the, the least feelings that you have. No more feels? Yeah. So the main character, she's been, she died, she was dead for 178 minutes, and that's the longest everyone has been dead before they rebooted. Oh. Um, I am super excited about that. Everyone is excited about it in this office and won't stop talking about it, and... <laughs> and now you have a copy. Um, I have a copy. You know what I'm excited for with this book? Yeah. The trailer, because you guys picked the lead actress, the lead actor, the script, um... I'm excited to see that trailer. See, I'm going to read this because they say read better it. than I do. Five years ago, Rin Connolly died. 178 minutes later, she came back to life as a reboot. The longer time spent dead, the stronger, faster, and less emotional a reboot is, making Rin 178 the ultimate weapon. Now 17, she is the best special op soldier in the Republic of Texas. Okay. I think if I was rebooted, I wouldn't be all that pissed off because I'd be like, Second well, chance. I'm, like, super badass now. Yeah. But I think having no feels would be sad. Yeah. Because then I'd go see The Notebook, and I wouldn't cry, and that would make me sad. Well, then here we go. Here's where the twist comes in. Okay. Callum, 22, on the other hand, is so slow he's practically still human. Rin has never made a, had a trainee like him. He always asks pesky questions and making her feel things. Boy oh, smooches. Boys making girls feel things. When Callum fails to measure up as a reboot standards, Rin is told to eliminate him. Uh oh, wait, what? So what's this? She has to kill him? I'm reading it. It comes out May 7th. Oh, well, that comes out soon. Soon, soon. Awesome. Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. Does anybody know who Sherry Thomas is? Is anybody a Sherry Thomas fan? Well, get excited because the burning sky. Oh! This cover, this premise, just makes me want to do a fantasy dance. Fantasy, I'm so pumped because y'all know I love high fantasy. And Sherry Thomas, if you don't know, she is a world-renowned romance novelist. So there's going to be steams in it. So it's high fantasy, sort of like Kristen Cash or Ray Carson yeah. world. So high fantasy, but with magic and the romance. <laughs> this is a sexy time. And I love that cover. <laughs> and I feel like fantasy awesome. is the one genre that you and I are both like, Girls! Yes! Always about. <laughs> yes, with Game of Thrones. Yes. Which we're really excited about. I know, Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. And so is the burning sky. Yeah. When does it come out? <laughs> um, boo. September 17th. It'll be here before you know it. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, who's pumped for this? Oh, I should. You you told me about right. this one. I gotta. And we have got a dark, a darkness strange and lovely. The sequel to a strange something strange, strange and deadly. deadly. <laughs> Susan um, Denard. It's um zombies in the 1800s. Yeah. A little steampunk going on. Set in Philadelphia. Woo -woo. Are there any fans of the series out here? You get your second book coming out. I'm excited. It um, comes out. I like anything with zombies. Yeah. July 23rd. And look at the cool dress. She's got a cool outfit. When is it? July 23rd? July 23rd. Sweet sauce. Um, three books in a box. That's our team. <gasps> three books in a box. 
Daniel Duffield says, Reboot, loved the chapter sneak peek, which is still up. If you want to read the first six chapters of Reboot, you can go to pitchdark.com and go to the blog and you can read the first six chapters. Yeah. And tell us what you think. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, everyone is pumped for Reboot. You sh yes. <laughs> Get pumped with me. Um, heck yeah, I saw the book today and added it to my Goodreads, says Saintly Adriana. What book was that, Saintly Adriana? Tweet us. Way to add it. Um, yeah, are you guys adding all of your books? Oh, Bookish YA. Um, Bookish YA is watching. Hello, Bookish YA. Hi. Um, October 15th is a day before my B-Day. Puts across a star-swept sea on B-Day list. <laughs> that was, that's a good yeah. B-Day wish list. I always see people freaking out when, like, release dates are close to their birthday, and I'm like... Yeah, because then <laughs> uh, Mason somebody Alexa, else pays for it. Mason Alexis says, oh, my book feels. I have been waiting for Reboot. I want to read it so bad. I liked, oh, my book feels. Oh, my, bo oh, my book feels. Oh, my book feels. <laughs> oh, my book feels. Oh, my book feels. <laughs> All the book feels. Okay. Wow, everybody's freaking out about Reboot. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's a recap of that box. Reboot. Comes out in May. Comes out in May. A Darkness, Strange, and Lovely comes out in July. Right? Yeah. Yeah. July. And a bur The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas comes out September 17th. I am taking one of these home with me. Because I want to read about the romance. All right, what next? We have um, three more boxes. Yes, tweet us a box while we, uh, our internet catches up. Lots of you guys here. Hello. Hello. No, 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 no. Those are just some of the books. Some of the books. We've got more books. Oh, oh no. Twitter. You guys crashed my Twitter feed. <laughs> Yay. Yay. But sad that I have to restart everything. Okay. Um, the Burning Sky. April C. at Books and Wine. I didn't know The Burning Sky was high fantasy. I could have died until today. No, 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 no. It all began with a ruined elixir and a bolt of lightning. That's good. Sold. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. I just, things with magic and Sherry Thomas and high fantasy thing, I just like high fantasy things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, zombie steampunk for the win, Kristen C. Let's see, the Bernie Sky. Okay, so what box should we open next, you guys? Um, oh wow, we're still trying to catch up. That was yeah, we're two, a little behind. Only two minutes ago. Oh, open box. Somebody said, MTG reviews. Open box number one. Un, deux, trois. Un, deux, trois. Oh, this is a little baby. Oh, it's a little baby box. But it says new releases. Oh, shows right. new releases. New releases. Oh. Right. Kendall. His oh. feet aren't pointy enough. I know. Kendall, you are not doing your job. Oh. Got it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, we're so weak. We should read like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Where's the balloon? <laughs> Margo is now gonna be attending the rest of Goodbye! Uh, I'm party. taking this and starting it now. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Page one. Page one. Just start reading. We run. My heels crunch sandy shells. My legs pound a steady rhythm. With every fourth step, I... <laughs> um, the Better Game Dub by Ray Carson. It's the final book in the Girl of Fire and Thorns series, and I am so pumped. Um, I just want to know... Hector. That's all I gotta say. Hector. Hector Hotness. And I'm... Oh. All right. Uh, we also yeah. have the final book in one of my favorite series. It's a goddess uh, by Josephine Angelini. Yeah. Star-crossed. Um, Greek mythology. And, and Yeah, Dreamless is the second book. Uh, Greek mythology is beautiful. It's awesome. It's epic. Mm. I loved it. And it's um, Helen of Troy. Yes. Modern-day Helen of Troy set in yes. Nantucket. Nantucket. Which is pretty. The first book. Which is pretty cool. Yes. Um, but I'm sad to see that series go. When does it end? Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm not giving you the vital information. We'll do an end is here for this series. May 28th. May 28th. I, well, oh, be, that's coming out sooner. Yeah, I'll be book hugging this with you. <gasps> that's the day before my birthday. <laughs> oh! Is it on your birthday wish list? It is on my birthday wish list. But I mean, so your birthday's May 9th? May 29th. Oh, May 29th. Mm-hmm. 
Hint, hint. Send me books. No, I'm just kidding. That would be awesome. Send her cookies so I can eat them. <laughs> um, okay. By the way, B The Bitter Kingdom goes on sale August 27th. I hope nobody just saw that popcorn. <laughs> I just saw nice that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is why I can't have nice things. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> well done. Little baby box was good. Oh, wait, oh. we have more. Oh, the twin maker. Twin maker. Oh, I can't. By Deshaun Williams. Mm. So the, what I'm excited about this book is everybody's talking about it kind of plays on the idea. It's not dystopian. Um, it's like near future and like how our, how technology has like changed our lives and is. Like alternate future? It's not alternate future. Okay. It's near, I near think. Future. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's the identity and technology collide in a provocative and thrilling near future adventure. Okay, so it is near future. So you're allowed to download code to like um, improve yourself. Okay. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. I would improve so a lot. I've heard a lot. Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> um, I've heard Just awesome things hair. about this. Um, he's also, Sean Williams isn't a bestseller on the adult in adult sci-fi books oh okay um so i'm really excited and he wrote uh trouble trouble twisters with garth nix so if anybody's garth nix fan you'll probably <coughs> popcorn in my throat this I'll is his like this. this is his first <coughs> ya book um but i'm super hmm. stoked about it especially Lots because of... i feel we, i work in technology mm -hmm. and i feel weird feels about it mm -hmm. um and how it, it controls my life, life. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so I'm going to get into this. Twin Maker. And that comes out <coughs> September 3rd. Sweet. Sarah Spiegel says, Bitter Kingdom, take all my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Um, Ariella Blake at, at Sprinkle of Books says, Goddess, oh my god, I want its Greek myth. Yes, Greek mm -hmm. myth. I love the Greek um, myth. Also, the covers are so pretty. They, I just look at them and they take me away to they're, other places. They're much better in hardcover, too. Yeah. Because they're all shiny. Yes. And, oh, they're so pretty. We were pretty. talking about earlier, shiny books make me buy them. That's what <gasps> they've done. That's what they've done there. And Marissa at, um, Marissa says, Need Bitter Kingdom so bad, holy moly. I love Christine Cashors. Oh, no, that's Ray Carson's girl. girl. It's Ray Carson's series, not Christine Cashor. <laughs> I can't handle my feels for the Better Kingdom, says Emily at the Lady Reads. I know, right? Seriously, you know what I'm doing all today? The rest, As soon as this is over, I am cracking this bad boy open. Okay, so Little Tiny Box had goodness. Little Baby Box was baller. It had <laughs> the Goddess, Josephine Angeline. The Better Kingdom by Ray Carson. And Twin Maker by Sean Williams. All right, guys. How many boxes? We got two. Only two left? I know. I'm sad. Um... Okay. Two or five? Two or five? Two or five? Which two, one? Two, oh, two. Daisy at Daisy Katie Reed says dos. Dos. Uno, dos. Who keeps putting popcorn do. everywhere? This is why I can't <laughs> eat and read because I'm not. This is a little tiny box too. More baby boxes. Oops. His feet look weird. I That's why like he's weird. not good at piercing me. Kendall, you look weird with your painted on leggings. He looks like a dancer, like he's Where? in a men. first position. We're men in tight, tight, oh! tight. Oh my god. Oh, this is. We have been hearing about this book forever. <laughs> Wait, high pitch. <laughs> this is like where I have dropped and I shaky hands. Oh. I shaky hands. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Tell us all about it. Um, this, the premise of this book is everything that... Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. Yes. First, let's get the title and the author up. Oh. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. Uh, this premise is everything that speaks to me a little bit. It's survivalism in the woods. But it's like Little House on the Prairie. But, but yeah. sci-fi. I don't know if there's sci-fi. I don't know if there's sci-fi. Is there sci-fi? I don't know. Or just like this. There's something... Something's not right in the prairie. In the yeah, so she has a pond and she's protecting her pond to drink water. Um, but there's something not right in the woods and beyond. Mm -hmm. That's but I hear it's so good and I heard that her writing is phenomenal. I'm just pumped because it's like middle of the country, prairie. Yes. 
One girl's dangerous and romantic journey for survival in a frontier-like world not so different from our own. Regret was for people with nothing to defend, people who had no water. Ooh. That sounds really good. Rachel Patrick says, Not a drop to drink, I want to drink it all! <laughs> <laughs> that was good, I like that quote. Um, yeah. Just to let you all know, we don't actually get to keep any of these, because we're doing giveaways for all of these so all of you will have a chance to win everything you see here we'll have we'll have that up as it gets closer to the on sale yeah dates. the art party is like we're getting stocked up for giveaways yeah this is pretty much all of our giveaway stuff so um and then our other is a uh, casey west casey west the distance between us which she, is she just published pivot point yes she did which so i like, liked and it's like liked. it's like the year of casey west Y'all, I think this lovers. This is a, a contemporary, um, and I think it plays on. Well, yeah, money can't buy a good first impression. It oh, kind of is a love between uh, classes. It's like Pride and Prejudice, Pretty in Pink. Yeah, like you're. I'm poor. You're rich. Different class. Yeah, rich boy. Ooh, Pretty in Pink. I love so much. And how cute is this cover? Yes. Um, when does that come out? This comes out. Wait. July 2nd. Oh, July yeah. is going to so be... So summer. That's a good summer read. If you guys are looking for summer reads, that'll be a good one. Add it to your... Add it to your list. My arc stack <laughs> is starting to creep up next to me. Boom. Ah. Hi. <laughs> um, okay. By the way, Not A Drop To Drink Co. is on sale September 9th. Okay, so we have one box left. So we got the number it. five box. Uh, DNC says... Love Ducky from Pretty in Pink. Oh, yeah. We should have, like, an entire episode dedicated to Pretty in Pink. And we sit on a table with a cake in the middle of us. Hey, 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 hey. That's a breakfast club. Whatever. Same cast. John Hughes. Just have a John, John Hughes, Hughes day. <laughs> oh. Okay, what is <laughs> This is me. This is me. Your Bitter Kingdom All right, is read. mine. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, wait, should we show them first? What it is? Uh, boom. Deception by CJ Redwine. The follow-up to Defiance. Are okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Page one. Okay. Logan! Logan! <laughs> Logan's narrating. What are you do what are you gonna tell them, Rachel asked, as she sits beside me, her scuffed roots touching mine, while long strands of hair rise in the early morning breeze like fine lengths of copper wire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. When does it come out? When does it come out? It comes out... Oh, August. Okay. Okay. August 27th. So it's the end of August. We loved Defiance. High fantasy, mm -hmm. great action, uh, do like multiple or dual POV. A super awesome dude. Super awesome dude. I actually I think he's one of my favorite like YA boys. Me too. Of all time. Logan. He's, Me too. He is awesome sauce. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh, yay! The sequel to, do or the uh, sequel to Don't Turn Mich Around. Don't Turn Around by Michelle Gagnon. Don't Look Now. Got a new cover. Yeah, it did. Different cover. It's the same color pattern. Same but... color, color scheme, different cover. Um, Don't Look Now. And if you guys haven't read, um, Don't Turn Around, <laughs> it's sort of like the YA hacker yes um a lot of people compare it to girl dragon tattoo but i think it's more like um hackers yeah <laughs> like angel like there's hackers. not as heavy it's well, not as dark it's not i mean it's dark but it's yeah. not as dark as girl dragon yeah. tattoo i mean that book was dark let's be honest yeah um but no this it's very much a thriller they're extremely fast paced yes and, and there's a little sci-fi e because they're mm -hmm. doing ex experiments experiments on people the first book is one of my favorite uh, openings where mm -hmm. a girl just wakes up on a cold table oh, and she's like, like, I have no she, idea where she's got am. wires all in her and she's like in an empty, dirty warehouse. Oh, that's like the opening of like um, Resident Evil, the second movie. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, we're, and we oh, got another, right. the last one. Boom, boom, boom. This one is by Paul Blackwell. Okay. And it is a, sus a suspenseful teen thriller with a touch of the otherworldly. Perfect for fans of Neil Schusterman. 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 Um, I think this is a pair. I've heard this is the parallel universe one. Oh, it is? Yes. Either way, I'm pretty stoked about this cover. <gasps> oh, yes, yes, yes. There's a parallel. There's a waterfall. And he falls. Oh, it's like a butterfly effect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like we're like one 
decision or one thing happens and, and your it, whole like, and like your whole one of the parallel one of the universes like is changed and then yeah. it's like the other one. I love books that have like this one like one pivotal moment in your life just throws everything off course. Right? Um so I'm excited about this one. That's it. Um, Undercurrent <laughs> rounds out our party. Ms. Malicious just tweeted, I need you ladies in my social circle. Ah, what's up? We'll bring the tea and popcorn. Yes. You bring the books. You bring the cookies. You bring the cookies, and we will be there anytime. I hang out with anybody who brings me cookies. I hang out with anybody who brings me donuts. <laughs> donuts oh. and cookies are the way to our hearts. I wanted to buy donuts for Art Party, but Margot is six, and she's I like, can't I can't eat, eat donuts them. right now. Next party, though. Ugh. Heavy books. <laughs> there is a, this is a disaster zone right here. I just want to let you all know. There's popcorn. There's balloons. Empty balloons. That's an art party. We've okay. got hats. Do you want to do a quick run through of all the books? Okay. Are you guys emotionally prepared? Did you have a good time? All right. We're going to recap everything and then um, one of you will win a cop one copy of all of these things. So get ready. You one winner out there. This is what you're about to win. Ready? Okay. Don't Look Now by Michelle Gagnon, the second book in the Don't Turn Around series. When does it come out? It comes out sept or August set 27th. Undercurrent by Paul Blackwell. This comes out J July 23rd. Um, Deception by C.J. Redwine, the second book in the Defiance series, and this comes out August 27th as well. The Bitter Kingdom by Ray Carson comes out August 27th also. Ooh, Ooh. August 27th! Um, dis Ooh. The Distance Between Us by Cassie West, the contemporary love story, comes out July 2nd. The Burning Sky, High Fantasy Romance and Magic, comes out September 17th. Um, Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis, comes out uh, September 9th. September 9th, my brain just stops. Because <laughs> I'm so excited to read this book. Across a Star Swept Sea, sequel to For, or Companion to For Darkness Shows the Stars, goes out October 15th. It'll be um, soon. The final book in the Dreamless series, or... Starcross? Starcross series, sorry. Uh, Goddess. And it comes out uh, 528. Me? Because 28. people love me. Uh, Sweet Legacy, the final book in the Medusa series by Tara Lynn Childs, comes out September 3rd. Twin Maker by Sean Williams comes out uh, September 3rd. <laughs> September 3rd. Oh my god. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis comes out September 9th. A Darkness Strange and Lovely. Uh, by Susan, Susan Denard. Denard. Susan Denard comes out. <laughs> comes My out brain is July twenty third. My brain is dying. I just want to. Read That's books. all the ones I have. Oh goodness. Oh, you have Re a lot. Yeah. Reboot by Amy Tintera I'll say comes Amy. out May seventh. That one soon. Three fifty nine by. G I shouldn't be the one doing this by Gretchen McNeil. Keep comes going. You're doing out a good job. September seventeenth. Uh huh. Arc Light comes out. Oh, this was the, the one that comes uh, to out. Be just May. Yeah, May or April. To be determined, but it's cover shiny. <laughs> <laughs> the Chaos of Stars by Kirsten White comes out September 9th. <gasps> and Vortex by S.J. Kincaid comes out July 2nd. The giveaway for this book is actually already up on Pitch Shark. There so you go. So you can go enter to win. And then join us up. because we're reading it all now. Do -do, that became our next read. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for joining. Uh, one of you will win one copy of every book that we've just shown you. Pump, awesome, right? But the five of you will also be winning a hardcover. Wah! Books everywhere. <laughs> we'll be winning a hardcover copy of A Touch Menacing by Leah Clifford. Uh, and we will announce those winners very shortly after this. And also there will be a blog post that will have links to all of these things. Books. So you can add them to your piles. Add them to your your TBR piles. So we will see you next week. And for... comment and tell us what you're most excited to read. And I believe next week is a uh, Dark Days. There, yes, there I will be... not be with you next week. But Allie, Allie our, uh, Dark Days, our, um, our Dark Days tour girl, she'll, she'll be, be with giving us. you all the info on where and when and who and what in Dark Daysness. I know, I'm really excited. So we will see you next week. Thank you for joining us for our party. Our party. Bye, guys. YA for the win. <laughs> Bye. Bye.